A new report just released this week found the State Department of Labor only answered 4% of calls early on in the pandemic as thousands of Georgians were joining the unemployment line and seeking benefits. Joe Hankey spoke to the State Labor Commissioner who says the number is misleading in some ways. And Joe, you also talked to him about solutions to try to make sure that the state is better prepared moving forward if there is a variant that hits. That's right, Jeff, trying to avoid future problems. But for much of 2020, we covered stories of people struggling to receive their unemployment benefits. Many of them told us they tried calling the state but could not get anyone on the phone. The state labor commissioner tells me calls were simply coming in faster than his staff could respond. This is not something that just happened in the state of Georgia. If you talk to practically every state, the exact same numbers and percentages are going to be pretty much right there. Georgia Labor Commissioner Mark Butler is taking issue with the lack of context in this report released Wednesday by the Georgia Department of Audits and Accounts. Butler says a figure showing his staff only answered 4% of calls during the pandemic only reflects a one-month sample early in the pandemic. Prior to the pandemic, the state received around 100,000 calls per month. That total exceeded 600,000 in March of 2020 as the first COVID cases were reported in our state and surpassed 9 million by April and May. Butler says answering 4% of 9 million calls means his staff did answer more than 360,000 calls in April or around 10 to 11,000 per day. It also does not include his staff's responses to emails and social media messages. The report also highlights payment delays. Butler says one major cause was the addition of federal benefits, which came with federal requirements calling for new verification and payment systems states had to build on the fly. It was a curveball that added more work for an already overworked department. He says his office has since provided feedback to the federal government for future scenarios. One of the things we told them is uh, in the future, uh, let's try to do a better job of communicating with the policymakers in Washington before we run into something like this so we can have our input on the front end. You know, there's a lot of things in the CARES Act that were good, and there's a lot of things in the CARES Act that were not so good. And Butler tells me currently funding is being used to upgrade certain reporting systems within the Georgia Department of Labor that should improve customer relations, the tracking of claims, and hopefully make the unemployment benefits process easier if we ever see unemployment return to the record highs of 2020. Jeff. All right.